Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love bite. Let's see what message wants to show through for you today Capricorn. And of course these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers, thank you, thank you for being here. And Capricorn if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel become part of us we welcome you in so Capricorn five of swords in reverse center of my spread somebody feels okay I'll just tell you okay okay bottom of my deck I have the temperance card maybe somebody wants to heal things with you Capricorn or maybe you want to heal something with somebody not feeling very happy uh, want, wanting victory, success, wanting things to start rolling again in, the, in, in a positive direction, wanting to get over the past heartbreak, feeling whatever games that were played, whoever played them finally fe is feeling that, hey, you know, I shouldn't have done that because now I feel like a loser because I lost my stability. I lost my forever. But uh, even though they feel that way, they've still been spying, watching, Somebody wants to come back. Somebody wants to come back, uh, Capricorn. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So before I start the reading, Capricorn, I'm going to start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. Then we'll do the clarification. Capricorn and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Capricorn and their person. Oops, it's too many... Capricorn and their person. One more, please. Capricorn and their person. Okay. I'm going to take a few more Capricorn from another deck. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Capricorn and their person. Okay. Just a couple more from here as well, Capricorn. Capricorn and their person. Thank you. All right. All set. Good to go, Capricorn. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, It irritates me that you mock my spirituality when I'm doing everything I can to learn and grow and become a better person. You tease me and make fun of my beliefs. I find that really hurtful as you're unwilling to even talk with me about them. Next card says, I've never loved anyone the way that I love you. I didn't expect to feel so much, but your stone cold silence broke me. The pain is like grief. It feels like my lover died and I died along with them. We are both awakened to this journey of unconditional love and have shared our deepest desires for the future we want to build together. When we have any challenges, we should communicate about our triggers in a healthy way by having open and honest discussions rather than avoiding them at all costs. Just give me a second. Sorry about that, just switch my phone off. I don't know what's happening today. Every time I sit down to do the readings, uh, I forget, forget to put my ringer off and it always rings the minute I start a reading. Okay, now the ringer is off. I'm so deeply ashamed of my actions. I can't face you right now because of all the hurt that I've caused, caused you. Can you forgive me? See, I told you, somebody's feeling whatever game, mind games or whatever they played, they feel like, hey, what was the point? I'm feeling like the loser myself now. No matter how hard this journey has been, loving you is still the best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't expect you to wait for me, but I hope you understand I need time. I know I hurt you. Please forgive me. Second time. Second card which is asking for an apology. My friends keep telling me I made a big mistake in letting you go. 
I want to fix things between us. I just don't know how to make things right at this time. All right, Capricorn, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading. I'm going to start, of course, with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you first as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. I'm going to take two because you just got a compliment. That's about, oh, got three. Oh my God, I got three. I asked for, okay, it doesn't matter. What Spirit is trying to say, this situation is asking for forgiveness. Not just from your partner, whoever has done wrong, but also forgive yourself. You have to first be able to forgive yourself, whoever has done wrong here. This is for that person, I think. Look at the future. Look at the future instead of always concentrating on the past and try and bring some sweetness back into this connection. Okay. Uh, sun in reverse, spirit. Why is the sun card in reverse? Oh, see, somebody is not happy that they kind of lost the biggest love of their life. Very unhappy, not feeling happy at all. I lost my cup of love here. One more. Yeah, it's come to a bit of a stagnancy, it seems, this connection. Uh, somebody really, really, really wants to now get over the toxicity, devil in reverse. They don't want to, you know, have whatever toxicities happen between the connection or whatever. They do want to have victory. They want all these barriers to come down. They're very unhappy that, you know, that, that future, see this future that uh, should have been, could have been, has been jeopardized. Maybe because somebody had addictions or some bad behavior or whatever happened here, somebody really, really feels uh, really bad that uh, yeah, some secrets probably came out about somebody's bad behavior. Um, maybe they were sitting in their ego and pride at that point and may have done something really, which is not for the highest good of this connection. But they do want to apologize now. They do want victory in this connection. They do want to now give that love offer. So, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune then, Spirit. Okay, one more. One more. Okay, one more. Six of Wands again. So this person really, really wants to have victory now. They want to have victory with who? With this person who now they see as single, beautiful, abundant, the perfect, perfect candidate that they want. Somebody who can make all their wishes come true. They definitely want to put in the work now. Uh, Capricorn, this could be you eyeing that single beautiful person or you could be this uh, beautiful, single, happy, abundant, you know, perfect catch kind of a person. Somebody is waiting either to heal this connection or waiting on divine timing, just hoping and wishing that things would start rolling in the correct direction once again. So, three of swords in reverse, three of swords in reverse spirit. Three of Swords in Reverse. One more. One more. I think somebody somebody didn't recognize a soulmate. Yes, yeah, somebody could have cheated. Somebody escaped saying yes maybe to a soulmate here. Maybe cheated on them or lied to them or just ran away from the connection. Now they're manifesting. They're manifesting big time that somehow this, you know, whatever conflict has happened between us, if we could just kind of, you know, get over that, have peace and harmony once again, basically wishing for this heart to unbreak now. So five of swords in reverse spirit. Five of swords in reverse. Yeah, they want to come out of the cold now. They're looking at that person as really attractive. They look, oh my God. I mean, somebody, somebody is really, really appreciating their partner. That's that much I can guarantee you, Capricorn. This, Like I said, they see them as this single, beautiful, abundant person. They're doing very well on their own. But not just that, but very attractive, very sexy, very passionate and loving, caring and kind as well. Now they, they feel like a fool. Why did I play all these games? I lost myself. Now they want to desperately come out of the cold now. 
Four of Wands in reverse, spirit. Four of Wands in reverse. Yes, they now want to do the right thing. They want to do the right thing. Oh my God, they're also showing up as the King of Wands, King of Pentacles. Uh, well, if they they lost this commitment in the past, the maybe they didn't commit or they didn't believe in marriage or whatever they were doing or maybe they had uh, different directions that they want to wanted to go well this person is ready to make that one choice now they don't want to be standing here forever saying i don't want to be committed i don't want this i don't want that they want to now choose a direction they are ready for action absolutely ready for action and they want to show back uh, into this um, feminine's life, I think, as the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is somebody who does propose, who does, you know, do the right thing. They provide, they are the perfect spouse, I would say. Somebody who is willing to take responsibility of a connection. So, Page of Swords, Spirit. Page of Swords. I think they've been, oh, okay, all right. One more. Okay, one more. Okay, so they, maybe they haven't come, come forward yet. They haven't come forward yet, but they're keeping a close eye. They're keeping a close eye. They, in their heart, I think this is what they, they really want now, that this stability should, should come back to the connection. They're a bit afraid. They're a bit afraid. Mm, they feel... They feel things are stuck. What if my person's already released me? What if they won't give me a second chance? So they are observing. They're observing every day as to is my person still going to allow me back in or have they totally turned their back on me and given up on me? Three of wands in reverse, spirit. Three of wands. Yes, this person's been very, very depressed, very sad, but they want to come out of that now. I think if this person had retreated to think about this connection, oh my God, are they all fired up now? Ace of Wands. They want to take some quick action. And yes, this person does want to return, Capricorn. Again, I'm saying this could be you, Capis. You may be wanting to return back to somebody who you did not commit to in the past or you overlooked maybe in the past. So what's the Six of Cups spirit? Six of Cups. Okay. One more. Oh, come on. Don't, don't overthink this now. Uh, basically, they're not happy. They're, they're really not happy. They, they are somewhere wondering, uh, like the card has come out again. They're wondering whether my person will even take me back now because I've really, really fucked up everything. You know, I behaved so badly in the past. Um, they're very stressed out. They're absolutely stressed out about overthinking, thinking. Um, they know there's... A lot of stagnancy now in this connection, but they are very, very attracted. Like they are magnetically, I think, attack, attracted to this feminine. They desperately want to return. They want this conflict to end. They, as much as they do want to come back, I think that they're, they're watching. They are trying to get the signs from their person. Are you still mad at me? Are you going to? I mean, have you already released me? Am I still, you know, is there a place to squeeze back in? Uh, let's see this temperance card. Temperance. What's the temperance card as our overall energy split? Temperance. Temperance. Yeah. That's what I thought as well. Well, this person does want to communicate now. They want to talk about things. They want to work things out. They do want to bring some balance back into this connection. I Maybe this person was a bit of a player in the past. I don't think they want to be a player anymore. Maybe that's one thing they want to discuss. They are recognizing what they did. They played all these mind games. They were probably breadcrumbing their partner in the past. They may be juggling in the past. All that, I think, uh, needs to be talked about and healed. And they know that. I don't think there are any more third parties here. I don't think so. I could be wrong, but because I'm seeing a very strong attraction and a magnetic pull with love. Somebody feeling terrible that they missed an opportunity. 
and wa- desperately wanting to come back. So that's all I have for you, Capricorn. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.